Can LVMH bring its luxury touch to sustainability? Luxury retailer LVMH, which owns brands like Bulgari, Fendi, and Louis Vuitton, is trying to cut down its energy footprint across its global network of stores. WSJ On Style columnist Christina Binkley has the details. Welcome to you, Christina. Good to see you. Hi, Lee. Um, hey, how are some of the ways LVMH has already cut down on energy use? You know, they've done some interesting things. Uh, one thing I was surprised to see is they're using uh, more uh, more uh, ocean freight and less air freight because that emits uh, lower uh, greenhouse gases. But the one that really blew me away when I learned about this was that the, their biggest impact, their biggest energy use is store lighting, believe it or not. They have over a million square feet of stores around the globe, and that's a lot of light bulbs. So as they've been making the transition to LED lights, they've had a huge impact. Uh huh. And it goes beyond just store lighting, correct? It does. As a matter of fact, it's not even just electric use or energy use. They're looking in uh, very, very uh, closely at issues of biodiversity. I thought this was just, you know, them sort of wanting to get kudos with consumers, but it turns out that a lot of their products are being affected by issues of biodiversity. There's types of grasses and plants that are dying in parts of the world where they need them for fragrances, for instance. So they've been um, pressing Indian rice farmers to press a gr to plant a grass called vetiver around their rice patties um, because the vetiver produces a fragrance that they that they need for for uh, Guerlain actually brand for okay. instance. Okay with regard to the store lighting will any of these changes be actually noticeable to consumers do people actually notice the change in lighting? When they're be when in tests they actually do I'm not sure that consumers think about lighting when they go into a store I don't I know I, I find the lighting pleasant or not but I don't think uh, much about the experience beyond that. But when they've tested these, they found that these new LED light bulbs, when they choose the frequencies and they test these, the lighting frequencies, the spectrums very closely, actually light products better and show luxury products in a better light. So there's a benefit uh, in the sales floor as well. Christina, when you look at the sustainability efforts unique to L LVMH, are there other global luxury brands that are tackling this as well? Yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, Caring came out with a, a, its own report a, a week or so ago. Lilby Mage is going to have their annual meeting on Thursday, and they are going to be announcing they're issuing a 78-page sustainability report. Um, the NRDC is reporting on a sustainable uh, uh, cl cloth manufacturer actually in China this week. There have been some big strides there. This is a huge industry that they are uh, a, a huge issue that the the entire apparel industry and luxury industry has really embraced. Christina, thank you very much. My pleasure.